ओम ज्ञानतिरांधस्य ज्ञानाजनशलाकया चक्षुन्मीलित तस्म श्रीगुरव नम नमा ओं विष्णुपदा कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति भक्तिवेदस्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेषा शून्यवादी पाश्चातिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो निनंद श्री अद्वैत गाधर श्रीवासादी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम रामा हरे हरे सो दीज टू वर्सेस वी आर सीइंग द क्रिएशन ऑफ द लास्ट अमंग द क्रॉस सटल एलिमेंट्स पंचभूतम दैट इज smell earth and the olfactory sense that is the nose sense for perceiving smell <clears throat> so this is the last among the five so the earth like everything we started with when <clears throat> there is transformation of ahankara in tamoguna it gave rise to sound sound was the first through sound ether came into existence and by the combination transformation arising from the sound and ether air came into existence so air had another feature of touch sensation the whether the combination or transformation arising from the touch sensation and air fire came into existence so in fire there was another additional element what we see what we know as roopa or form and again by the combination of form and fire element next water came into existence so water had yet another feature that is taste so by the combination of taste element and water now finally we are seeing in this portion gandha gandha matram the sense of smell that came into existence rasa matrad vikurvanat ambaso daiva choditat rasa matrad rasamatra means sense of taste vikurvana vikurvana means transformation ambaso ambasa means water so the sense of taste rasamatra with, with combination of water when it when transformation took place and how daiva choditat under superior arrangement what happened गंधमात्रम अभूत गंधमात्रा मींस द सटल एलिमेंट ओडर ओडर मींस द स्मेल द फ्रेग्रेंस ओडर गंधमात्रम अभूत तस्मात एंड थ्रू दैट पृथ्वी घ्राणः तु गंधगः पृथ्वी मींस अर्थ थ्रू दैट द अर्थ एलिमेंट became manifested and then granaha granaha means the olfactory sense olfactory sense means referring to the nose nostrils which can perceive smell so prithvi granaha to gandagaha gandagaha means which can perceive aromas that is referring to the nostrils so due to the interaction of water with the taste perception the subtle element odor evolves under superior arrangement thence 
the earth and the olfactory sense by which we can variously experience the aroma of the earth became manifest. So there are various aromas in the earth, all of which can be perceived by the olfactory sense, the nostrils, everything became manifest. So in today's next verse we see, what are the various kinds of aromas from the earth which becomes manifest from the earth which is perceived by the olfactory sense. So six kinds of fragrances, six kinds of aromas are being mentioned here. They are <coughs> Karambha, Puti, Saurabhya, Shanta, Ugra and Amla. So these are the six varieties of uh, smell, six varieties of odor which are available <coughs> and dravya avaya vaishamyad gandha eko vividyate originally there is one gandha one smell of the earth when it is mixed with various elements various other chemicals whatever that we'll be seeing now different smells becomes perceived by the olfactory sense. Just like in the purport, the, like Prabhupada mentions all of them. <coughs> the first one, Karamba. Karamba means mixed. Here in the purport, Prabhupada tells, mixed smell is sometimes perceived in foodstuffs prepared from various ingredients such as vegetables, mixed with different kinds of spices and asafoetida. <coughs> when we are preparing some nice offering to the Lord, with some special rice, palav, we put some rice, we put some vegetables, varieties of spices are added in that, and all these things combined together one kind of a fragrance it gives. So this is what here it is being referred to. It is mixed smell or karambha. <coughs> so this is one. And the second one, puti. Puti means offensive. Offensive smell. So here Srila Prabhupada says in the purport, Bad odors are perceived in filthy places. <coughs> in filthy places we can find bad smells. Just like we can recollect the past time wherein Srila Prabhupada in Mayapur was passing through uh, in, the, in the temple campus. Prabhupada and many other devotees, all senior uh, GBC leaders of the organization, uh, Prabhupada, he stopped at one place near the uh, 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 toilets which was smelling bad, <coughs> which was not cleaned properly. And Prabhupada noticed this and how he uh, chastised his disciples that you people are not feeling anything. A bad smell is coming and it is, it, it is something normal for you. That means you are also Tamoguna. That's also Tamoguna. You are also in Tamoguna. That's why you are not feeling any difference. <coughs> so this is that Puti, offensive smell. Another example, another story Srila Prabhupada gives of his spiritual master Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur when he went to Burma. So where the place where he was staying surrounded by many other local people are there <coughs> and some bad smell was coming and Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvatakur inquired what is this smell and devotee started explaining how there is a smell of Nafi what is this Nafi Nafi is uh, whatever the decoction 
the whatever the the strained juice coming out of uh, like what what people they do there some animals something dies some rats or some pets outside their door they'll keep one big container covering with the lid so animal dies some animal dies they go and put it inside that and it will be closed so it will remain there for many days and months and it will get decomposed and uh, it will start oozing some liquid and whenever some festive occasions are there so that will be taken out it will be drained and uh, whatever that juice will be taken out and distributed and they relish it so that category of people there and maybe the next day devotees were preparing because bhakti siddhanta thakur their guru maharaj has come so they were preparing very nice items special offerings and all extra items prepared with nice ghee and it seems the neighboring people they started complaining what is this bad smell so different people in different levels or categories where they belong to they perceive different smells so here this is one example and in bhagavad gita also uh, krishna speaks about uh, what kind of food people in the mode of ignorance tamoguna they like yatayamam gatarasam pooti paryushtam chayat uchchistam api cha medhyam bhojanam tamasapriyam what kind of bhojana or food stuff people in the mode of ignorance what they like yatayamam which is prepared very old gatarasam no whatever juice in that and then puti puti means again this is what bad smelling paryushtam leftover food amedyam which is untouchable so this is all something comes under the category of tamoguna mode of ignorance offensive smell bad smell so this is the third one sorry second one karamba then puti offensive karamba is mixed puti is offensive smell uh, the third one saurabha saurabha means very good fragrant good smells the purport shila prabhupada writes are perceived from camphor menthol and similar other products so camphor karpura many other very uh, spices very attractive good smell and menthol menthol means something prepared from mint pudina so these are all some good smells that is saurabha and especially you have seen how from flowers specifically jasmine rose these are all very good smells saurabha very attractive smells that is saurabha third one and fourth one shanta mild not very much fragrant or whatever mild mild smell and fifth one ugra ugra means pungent the example given is pungent smells are perceived from garlic and onions so onions and garlic they have got this pungent smell or ugra odor <coughs> we have seen how at least this experience uh, we will be having when we start cutting onions tears will start flowing from the eyes and even garlic also very pungent and that's why especially for devotees uh, who want to advance in spiritual life the category the which whatever this offensive smell or pungent smell 
which comes under rajasik or rajoguna are not recommended this doesn't come under satvik so that's what it is so this ugra ugra means pungent coming from onions and garlics and the last one the sixth one amla amla means acidic example given is turmeric and similar sour substances means holi referring to maybe lemon tamarind and all of these it is amla this is another variety so these are the different varieties karamba then puti saurabha shanta ugra and amla so six varieties are given here and now if we see uh, in the purport it is mentioned the original aroma is the odor emanating from the earth and when it is mixed with different substances this odor appears in different ways so there is one original odor of the earth element of prithvi and that when it is mixed with different substances different aromas it give ra- gives rise to shri shri krishna balaram ki so here we can recollect krishna in the seventh chapter telling punyo gandah prithivyam cha i am that original gandha punya gandha of the prithvi or the earth there prabhupad mentions that this word punya refers to original something original that's the meaning given there there again in the purport prabhupad mentions punya means that which is not decomposed punya is original everything in the material world has a certain flavor or fragrance as the flavor and fragrance in a flower or in the earth in water in fire in air etc the uncontaminated flavor the original flavor which permeates everything is krishna so that uncontaminated original flavor which permeates all substances in this material world is krishna punyo gandah prithivyam cha only when it is mixed with other substances other flavors come up otherwise that original substance original odor is krishna himself here for uh, in the lecture for the same verse which was recorded in 1975 bombay there prabhupada tells bhakti means like this flower we are smelling we are enjoying that is sense gratification similarly this same flower if it is offered to krishna as garland that will smell that he will smell smell it and feel pleasure that is bhakti so simple whatever smell is there attractive smell fragrant smells are there so that if we directly like for our sense gratification if we use that is kama something fragrant flowers are there make a garland offer it to krishna it becomes bhakti so whatever good things available offer it to krishna with love this is bhakti so to come to the bhakti marga <coughs> or devotional service is not it is not very difficult the smell is creation of god or krishna punyo gandah prithivyam cha therefore the smell should be used for krishna's pleasure this is bhakti 
not for my pleasure this is called tyaga tyaga means that actually it should be used for krishna who has produced it this is bhakti so everything is produced by krishna whatever is attractive fragrant good things we come and with devotion with love we offer to krishna this is bhakti in nature around various attractive smells aromas are there specifically in flowers so make a garland of it and offer it to krishna this is bhakti is exactly this was demonstrated by maharaja ambarisha wherein it is said about him granam chatat pada saroja saurabhe how ambarisha maharaja various senses he was engaging in the service of the lord likewise there the mention of this granam granam means referring to the olfactory sense smelling how was he using tat pada saroja saurabhe pada saroja the flowers which were offered to the lotus feet of krishna so maharaja ambarisha was using his nostrils to smell those flowers so this is the uh, what these 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 are the footsteps in which we are supposed to follow <coughs> now let me tell this one very beautiful pastime from the chaitanya charitamrita antya leela <coughs> about krishna's fragrance fragrance of the body of krishna as perceived by chaitanya mahaprabhu <coughs> so this occurred at the almost at the end so in the antyalila there are 20 chapters uh, describing about the later pastimes of chaitanya mahaprabhu in jagannathapuri last 18 years what he spent in jagannathapuri so the last chapter is chaitanya mahaprabhu's teachings of shikshashtaka just one previous chapter there there is one very beautiful description of how chaitanya mahaprabhu in his ecstatic condition how he was so much absorbed in the thoughts of krishna he exhibited many ecstatic symptoms in his body uh, in love for krishna so there is this mention of one pastime which took place in jagannatha vallabha gardens in jagannathpuri now also if we go we can find that place so it was in the month of vaishakha at summer time and on the day of purnima full moon day chaitanya mahaprabhu along with all of his other associates performing kirtana they entered jagannatha vallabha garden that garden place they entered and that garden all the uh, six rutus were manifested at that point of time specifically the spring or vasanta rutu different kinds of fragrant flowers fruits all of these things were visible there and the entire garden was very fragrant so chaitanya mahaprabhu along with his associates they just wandered throughout that garden area chaitanya mahaprabhu was moving in the front and all his other associates following him and at one point of time under the ashoka tree chaitanya mahaprabhu had darshan of krishna he saw krishna there immediately he ran towards that tree ashoka tree under which he saw lord krishna by the time he reached there krishna disappeared and mahaprabhu fell unconscious because of the separation and after he woke up all the devotees like say they started performing kirtan he woke up and he was able to smell the bodily aroma of 
Krishna. So that beautiful description, I'll read those verses for you. एक काले वैशाखेर पौर्णमासी दिने रात्रि काले महाप्रभु चलिला उद्याने सो दिस द मंथ ऑफ वैशाखा पौर्णमासी दिने रात्रि काले एट द नाइट महाप्रभु चलिला उद्याने सो ही वेंट टू दैट गार्डन सो विच गार्डन जगन्नाथ वल्लभ नाम उद्यान प्रधाने प्रवेश करीला प्रभु लैया भक्तगणे सो लॉन्ग विथ ऑल ऑफ हिस अदर भक्तगण डिवोटीज प्रवेश करीला ही एंटर्ड जगन्नाथ वल्लभ नाम उद्यान प्रधान द बेस्ट ऑफ द गार्डन दट इज जगन्नाथ वल्लभ गार्डन देन प्रफुल्लित वृक्षवल्ली ये न वृंदावन शुक शारी पिक भृंग करे आलापन ट्रांसलेशन गोज लाइक दिस इन द गार्डन वर फुल्ली ब्लॉसम्ड ट्रीज एंड क्रीपर्स एक्जैक्टली लाइक दोज इन वृंदावन बम्बल बीस एंड बर्ड्स लाइक द शुक शारी एंड पिक टॉक्ट विथ वन एंड अदर सो जस्ट लाइक रिसेंबलिंग वृंदावन this jagannath vallabha garden appeared then pushpa gandha laya vahe malaya pavana guru hayya tarulataya shikhaya nachana a mild breeze was blowing carrying the fragrance of aromatic flowers the breeze had become the guru and was teaching all the trees and creepers how to dance so all the flowers fragrant flowers are there the breeze is carrying that aroma which acted like a teacher and teaching how to dance for all the flowers creepers and leaves in that garden a beautiful example <coughs> then purna chandra chandrikaya parama ujjwala तरुलतादि ज्योत्स्नाय करे झलमल ब्राइटली इल्यूमिनेटेड बाय द फुल मून द ट्रीज एंड क्रीपर्स ग्लिटर्ड इन द नाइट सो मून लाइट फुल मून लाइट ऑल द ट्रीज क्रीपर्स एवरीथिंग आर ग्लिटरिंग विद दैट मून लाइट छय ऋतुगण याहान वसंत प्रधान देखी आनंदित हैला गौर भगवान the six seasons especially spring seemed present there seeing the garden shri chaitanya mahaprabhu the supreme personality of godhead was very happy then <coughs> lalita lavangalata pada gaoyaya nritya kari bulena prabhu nijagana laiya so after looking at all that very nice atmosphere mahaprabhu becomes very happy and he specifically gives an instruction to his close associate swarupa damodara goswami he was a very good singer so he, he on the indication of mahaprabhu swarupa damodara goswami started singing one song from geeta govinda that sta- song started with these verses of lalita lavangalata a beautiful description of vrindavana uh, forest with different kinds of trees and creepers so that beautiful song uh, he started singing in this atmosphere the lord had his associates sing the verse from the geeta govinda beginning with the words lalita lavangalata as he danced and walked about with them then prati vriksha valli aiche bhramite bhramite ashokera tale krishne dekhena aachambite as he thus wandered around every tree and creeper he be, he came beneath an ashoka tree and suddenly saw lord krishna 
कृष्ण देखी महाप्रभु धाइया छलिला आगे देखी हासी कृष्ण अंतर्दान हाइला वेन ही सॉ कृष्ण श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु बिगैन रनिंग वेरी स्विफ्टली बट कृष्ण स्माइल एंड डिसअपियर्ड हासी कृष्ण अंतर्दान हाइला ही जस्ट स्माइल एंड डिसअपियर्ड आगे पाइल कृष्णे तान्रे पुनः हाराया भूमे ते पड़िला प्रभु मूर्छित हाइया फर्स्ट ही गॉट कृष्ण देन हराया अगेन ही लॉस्ट कृष्ण हैविंग गॉटन कृष्ण एंड देन लॉस्ट हिम श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु फेल टू द ग्राउंड अनकॉन्शियस कृष्णेर श्री अंग गंधे भरीचे उद्याने से गंध पाया प्रभु हाइला अचेतने द एंटायर गार्डन वॉज फिल्ड विद द सेंट ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्णास ट्रांसेंडेंटल बॉडी वेन श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु स्मेल्ड इट ही फेल अनकॉन्शियस एट वंस सो अगेन ही वॉक अप एंड जस्ट स्मेलिंग द अरोमा इन द गार्डन the aroma of the body of krishna again he became unconscious nirantara nasaya paashe krishna parimala gandha aswadite prabhu haila pagala but the scent of krishna's body incessantly entered his nostrils and the lord became mad to relish it krishna gandha lubdha radha sakhire ye kahila se shloka padi prabhu artha karila shrimati radha rani once spoke a verse to her gopi friends describing how she hankers for the transcendental transcendental scent of krishna's body shri chaitanya mahaprabhu recited that same verse and made its meaning clear so here we can see how shrimati radharani at the uh, dead of the night during the rasa dance when krishna disappeared she recited a verse to her friend uh, to her sakis and that verse so that verse we can see in the geeta Go- govinda leelamrita of krishna das kaviraj goswami so chaitanya mahaprabhu quoted that verse because he was also in the same mood of shrimati radharani having gotten krishna and now lost him so radharani describes the uh, aroma from krishna's body there's a lot of verses are there i'll not get into all the details few important things i'll just read out the translation the scent of krishna's transcendental body surpasses the aroma of musk and attracts the minds of all women the eight lotus like parts of his body distribute the fragrance of lotuses mixed with that of camphor his body is anointed with aromatic substances like musk camphor sandalwood and aguru oh my dear friend that personality of godhead also known as the enchanter of cupid always increases the desire of my nostrils so this is a verse quoted from govinda leela amrita spoken by radha rani it was uh, this was explained by chaitanya mahaprabhu to all of his associates the description again it goes on the scent of krishna's body surpasses the fragrances of musk and the bluish lotus flower spreading throughout the 14 worlds it attracts everyone and makes the eyes of all women blind 
and lot of other descriptions are there and finally this one yeah <clears throat> when sandalwood pulp is mixed with aguru kumkuma musk and camphor and spread on krishna's body it combines with krishna's original own bodily perfume and seems to cover it and then how like uh, krishna's that aroma itself acts like a plunderer and plunders the hearts of gopis and what all what they experience lot of descriptions are there finally this one point the dramatic actor madana mohana has opened a shop of scents that attract the women of the world to be his customers he delivers the scents freely but they make the women all so blind they cannot find the path returning home so krishna just through his bodily aroma fragrance he opens a market place of scents it is said and he is distributing that scent freely for any everyone and when people go there they smell the scents which are available there and what happens they forget their path back to their homes they don't remember how to go back to their homes <laughs> they cannot find the path returning home shri chaitanya mahaprabhu his mind thus stolen by the scent of krishna's body ran here and there like a bumblebee he ran to the trees and plants hoping that lord krishna would appear but instead he found only that scent and finally both swarupa damodara and ramananda raya sang to the lord who danced and enjoyed happiness until the morning arrived then the lord's two associates devised a plan to bring him to external consciousness so till the next day morning mahaprabhu was in grasped in smelling the scent of the bodily aroma of krishna he became very ecstatic and other devotees they sang and he danced and up to the next day morning and finally these two associate devised a plan somehow to end that and they took mahaprabhu back to his place so we'll end here grantraj shrimad bhagavatam ki shri la prabhu pad ki